Hello, I'm Kathy Adams Clark, and I've been a professional photographer for the last 26 years. And when Canon introduced the mirrorless cameras, I tried the R and decided that I really liked it. But I thought I'd wait because the R was the first version of the Canon mirrorless cameras, and I wanted to see what would happen. So I waited for the R5, and the moment that the R5 was announced, then I bought the R5. And I thought that the R5 would end up being my bird photography camera to replace my D1X. And I bought the R6 as a backup camera, but also thinking that the R6 was an inferior camera to the R5, because the R5, after all, cost more money, and so it had a bigger sensor. So I thought that the R5 would be the main camera, and the R6 would end up being just a backup camera. You know, Canon Rebel to my D1X. But then I got the R5 and started using it and everything was fine. Got the R6 and realized that, whoa, the R6 isn't a baby camera. The R6 is just as powerful as the R5. But the difference, the main difference, is that the R5 has a large, larger sensor and the R6 has a smaller sensor. But shooting-wise, I didn't see any difference between these two cameras. And as a bird photographer, I didn't know which camera I should pick up in which situation. And it even turned out because the cameras are so much alike in, in touch and feel, even menu operations, that sometimes I would just pick up the six and take it, and sometimes I would pick up the five and take it. And honestly, I couldn't tell you which camera I had in my hands because the feel in the hand is almost exactly the same. And so I decided to do a comprehensive study that's now lasted me nearly two and a half months and taken me from the beaches of Galveston, Texas to the rainforest of Costa Rica to figure out which one's a better bird camera, the Canon R5 or the Canon R6. Join me on my adventure. Let's see what I found out. picked up a Sony during the process. We all know the specs of the Canon R5 and the R6. They're pretty much similar except file size. My comparison started on the Upper Texas Coast. I shot with the R6 and then I switched over to the R5. Then in Costa Rica I did the same. R5, R6. Even picked up a Sony just to, for comparisons. I photographed big birds, and I photographed birds in dense foliage. And then back on the upper Texas coast, I continued my comparison with warblers and vireos and neotropical migrants, birds that are hard to photograph because they're so small and dense vegetation. I charted and counted. I counted keepers to determine which camera was the best for birds, the Canon R5 or the R6. So you see what I did when I was out in the field. And my overall final explanation to which camera should you use if you're a bird photographer is really boils down to sensor size. So the R5 has a huge sensor and your files are going to end up being 45 megabytes, 60 megabytes big. The R6 on the other hand gives you files that are what we now call standard size, 20 megabytes, 25 megabytes, somewhere around in there. So for me, if I'm going to be out in the field photographing birds and there's a possibility that I'm going to be cropping, so I'm going to be photographing warblers in the forest or I'm going to be for photographing small birds in the rainforest of Costa Rica and I'm going to be cropping, then I'm going to take my R5. But 
if I'm shooting in a photo blind where the birds are going to be close and it's under a controlled situation where I'm working with birds that are really close and it's good possibility I'm not going to crop at all, then that's the situation where I'm going to take the R6 because the R6 to me has a really nice file size, just basic native file size. And so if I'm, but if I'm going to crop heavily where I'm going to go all the way in and do, you know, maybe take out 90% uh, of the file so that I can get a nice picture of the bird, then that might be when I end up taking my R5. So shooting wise, focus wise, everything else, these cameras to me as a bird photographer are exactly the same. Video is different, but you know, they're exactly the same as a bird photographer. So if you're a bird photographer and you don't crop that much or you don't crop that often and the finances mean that we need to go for an R6, then I'm, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be perfectly fine with an R6. On the other hand, if you find yourself cropping a lot and then take the finances into account also, then the R6 might be your camera. Or you find yourself doing videos a lot and you want to produce more videos, then take the R5. Video with R6 is perfectly fine on the other hand. And so I think it really boils down as a bird photographer to file size. Are you going to crop and do you need to crop because the birds are small but you still want to produce photos that are good size? R5 is your, your camera for that. R6 on the other hand, perfectly fine using, using your pictures full frame. You don't end up cropping that much and we might want to take a look at the finances. So to me, these cameras are both equal when it comes to doing bird photography. Everything about them through my studies has said that they're equal. It just boils down to file size in the R5 versus small file size in the R6. You're going to crop. We're going to need the R5 files because they're so big and we can crop into them. On the other hand, we're not cropping that much shooting in blinds, that type thing, go with the R6. And so take it from me, a couple of year, months out in the field, studying these two cameras side by side and seeing which one's really the best one for bird photography, they're both equal. They're both great cameras for bird photography. Just depends on what you might do with those final files. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Kathy Adams-Clark. Remember, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos that I produce. And if you've got any questions for me, feel free to send me an email, or if you want to send something right below this uh, video, then feel free to do that and make comments. Take care, and I hope to see you out in the field someday.